Do you do combat sports? Do you work at a nine to five job sitting at a desk all day? Or do you have an occupational job that is very demanding on your body and spine and causes a lot of this to go along? Well, for today's video, we're gonna tackle exactly that and it's all gonna be about the shoulder blades and scapula. This is the foundation when it comes to your shoulder stability, just like how your hips and glutes are the god of the hip girdle. This is gonna be all about the shoulder and its correlation to shoulder health, strength, and stability for you when it comes to your posture, when it comes to exercise, when it comes to all of that. We're gonna cover that today. Now, before we jump into the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and give this video a like, especially with all the content that's coming out. I'm trying to give as much information as I can with all the messages that I'm getting. So give this drive video a like. The more people that get to see it, the more people can actually view it, ask me some questions, probably make another video, and we're gonna go like that, and YouTube does its thing. So, you know, do that. If you just think about the scapula, your shoulder is, is, it's not just the humerus right here. The shoulder is the scapula. That's where 18 muscles attach to. So if we're talking about stability and we're talking about not having the shoulders in a proper position when it comes to exercise, when it comes to posture, when it comes to anything like that, we're not going to be having any stability. We're going to have some pains. We're going to have some strains. We're going to have some nerve pinches, right? You get ever, anyone ever here gets like, these tingling sensation when they lift their hand over their head. That's a big one. Fighters, when you're, fighters are just desk workers when you're like this all day but you don't notice and the neck starts falling forward. Scapula, right here, big part of the muscle. You guys can pretty much see a lot of what's going on here. So if you wanna use your shoulders properly, we need those scapulas to be working, we need them to be stable, and we need them to be strong. Now, the problem with just how society is, we tend to lean more on inactivity and not moving as much, and we tend to put ourselves in positions that are counterintuitive to what our body wants. And since our body is like the best in the world, it's gonna compensate and it's going to do some fascial changes and muscular changes to not allow itself to get hurt. Yet, we put ourselves in these positions that's improper and just not fundamentally good to deliver the proper output that we want when it comes to, let's say, exercise. I'm putting it as a factor of fighting or just lifting. If we don't have proper mobility in the scapula and we wanna be a power lifter and go for these cleans and jerks, if we're not getting proper angular movement when it comes to the scapula and gliding and motions and it's stuck, that's a huge problem where we're gonna start getting pains and then that's gonna leach on and start creating other instabilities and pains somewhere else because we're gonna be compensating. When it comes to people getting these tingling sensations going down their arm, well, the scapula attaches right in the front as well, next to your acromion and your clavicle right here. Your whole branch of nerves of your brachial plexus come down into the arm. It's a very small spot. If we're talking about anterior rotation shoulders, we're causing that to be blocked and then we're getting all those symptoms of nerve tingling, pinching, sometimes even burning, depending on the case and how bad it is. I know for me, if I leave my hands over my head for too long, I get that tingling sensation. Mind you, it's been a lot better since I've been doing a lot of rehab and prehab on myself, especially now what's going on. I barely have it because I'm pretty much doing something every single day to fix that issue. So the exercises that we're gonna go through today are pretty much just fundamental exercises to progress you guys to get that scapular stronger to give it more stability and then to also teach you how to put it in a proper position since a lot of the cases are low trap which is at the bottom tends to be the driver when it comes to depression of the scapula to put it in a very great position so we can do our overpress motions our standing posture motions first one you're going to lay down on your stomach you're going to put your hands in a diamond position right where your forehead is or even higher and what you're gonna do, you're gonna lift your arms off while your elbows are staying on and you're gonna come back down. Once that becomes a little bit more easy, you're gonna come back up, you're gonna lift the elbows up in the air, you're gonna come back down and you're gonna put your hands back on the floor. This lifting the elbows up is really causing a nice contraction in the scap. Pay attention to not allowing your upper traps to take advantage and lift those shoulders up. Keep those shoulders nice and depressed down and feel the contraction in 
in between the scapulas. So you're really trying to work right in between and also at the bottom of the scap to feel the scaps moving. Now, pay attention to cheating. A lot of times you're not going to be able to do it because you've never done this motion before and you're going to find that your wrists are going to start to extend to come up and flex to come down. So pay attention to the angle that your hands in. You want it to be pretty much as straight as possible when you're doing these movements. When it comes to reps, same thing as all the other videos when I'm talking about rehab. You start with a simple two set protocol. You either do six reps, eight reps, 10 reps, you work your way up. And then you start adding, once you get to 10, you go back down to six and you start adding a little bit of some isometric holding. So when I come up, come up, hold that for about three to five seconds come back down once that becomes easy i'll do it for eight reps 10 reps and so forth i get to 10 then i move to three sets and i repeat that for all the exercise that i'm doing once that becomes easy we're going to start adding a overhead press motion now this is going to be very challenging on your lower traps and that's what we want so pay attention for those other cues i told you about to not cheat the movement so we're going to come up we're going to lift the arms up we're going to hold that position our thumbs are going to rotate up in the air we're going to straighten our arms as much as possible and then we're going to come back hands come down and arm comes back down. Now, mind you, this is a very hard exercise. And once you can get that stability in the shoulder, you're gonna get a huge crossover rate when it comes to you doing any type of overhead pressing motion. Once that becomes easy, it's time to challenge it in a different position. So now we're gonna go in a quadruped position. We're gonna stay nice and stable. We're gonna keep those scaps retracted and down and depressed. We're gonna take our arm thumb facing upwards and we're going to flex our arm forward. Again, mind you, neck, neck is not coming forward, it's staying back. Mind you, trap is not coming up to contract. We're trying to relax that. Arms are coming straight up overhead, straightening it and coming back down. If that's easy, we're gonna do a simple motion. We're gonna come into shoulder flexion. We're gonna come down into adduction, stop at 90, come back up and then come back down. You also can do the reverse, where you're gonna come into abduction, and then you're gonna come straight into flexion, and then come back down and come down. These are just simple progressions. There are more exercises, but these are the fundamentals just to start being able to get that contraction, to start being able to get more of that mobility going on in scapula. There's a lot more exercises, like I said, and there's a lot more other things that can be said, but this video would be insanely long. And I just wanted to cover a simple topic with some simple exercises that you guys can start doing right now at home. Take advantage of it. I know it sucks sometimes, but now is the perfect time to take care of yourself, your home anyways. Take those little breaks that I talk about in my Instagram videos. Do a little bit of some work on yourself, treat yourself, and then go back to work. Simple, easy. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it was informational for you. If you do have any comments or something you wanna say or some questions you wanna ask, put them in the comments below. If you stayed throughout the whole video, give it a like, you know, in case you did already, then thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. It's your boy, that's Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee, peace.